Hello and welcome back to another episode of United We Stand, Divided We Podcast. I am Robert from the U.S. with my co-host Lionel from Canada, Toronto. Ah, uh, to yeah, Toronto, not Toronto. <laughs> How are you guys all doing out there? Hopefully everything's going fine for everybody. It's a nice <laughs> hot summer everywhere, but we're getting a little bit cooler up here finally. And when I say cooler, it's still hot, but it's summer hot, not please leave me in the beach hot so how's it over there um today was not as bad as it has been um probably high yeah. it was high 80s uh but it's been mid high 90s with high humidity up until today but it was cloudy today so fortunately it was not quite as bad yeah well we we got lucky we actually had a cool night last night um uh, after two days of it being actually a couple of degrees below normal but 90 percent humidity and no wind it was horrid it felt like 40 well i say 40 degrees but for the americans it, it basically felt like 106 or whatever and you know what that feels like you've gone through it once or twice this year already maybe yeah. several times <laughs> uh but anyways let's let's move on we're going to talk a lot of tech today apparently from what I understand. Yeah, there's uh there's been a lot of a lot of developments. So um, yeah, the, and it's uh, not the, all Google stuff this time. No, it's not all. Some Google of it stuff. is a, a good chunk yeah. of it is because uh, yeah. you know they're coming out with their surprise, you know, thirteenth event. It's not on a Friday, is it? It's I think it's a Wednesday to be honest. Okay, with you. okay, because I was like, is that maybe <laughs> maybe some kind of April Fools on a in August or September? Whatever. I, I, I actually really <laughs> hate that I might be working that day and I'm gonna have to actually look at the stuff periodically throughout the day and read it all all about it and watch the thing later. And I haven't missed a Google event in seven years. I think. I mean, I've had jobs where I I would actually have my phone propped up on top of something like if i was driving a, a reach truck a forklift i would actually have it propped up so every time i looked at something i could stop for a second and look at it but i had the headphones so i could listen or one of them in that is for safety yeah. i have to have one open and and, yeah. and watch or I'd listen rather to everything that was going on other yeah, times it's actually i would tuesday. be in my office and i would be able to just watch it so yeah it's tuesday <laughs> oh tuesday uh, sorry tuesday yeah. Yeah, so I'll hopefully be able to watch it from the office if I'm not too busy. But um, yeah, so uh, obviously, you know, the whole Pixel 9 rumors have been out forever. Pixel 9 XL, I guess we still yep. don't know all the details on that. Um, well, well, apparently we know most of them, but I, yeah. I would love to go back to a surprise, you know, back the days when you get surprised. <laughs> uh, but at the same time, I... Uh, I'm still I'm still excited about it because it may not be the Pixel 10 with the you know uh, we fully 100% Google chip, uh, yeah. but it it's still going to have some improvements. Uh, it's still going to be the one that's just one step closer to that one. And I don't think there's they're all as incremental as people try to tell you on the internet is because there's usually a little a little bit more than a few things in there that just make it a little better than last year like the eight was supposedly a tiny jump over the seven but i find that it it was actually a huge leap in in how the camera worked and i'm not even talking about the pictures i i i love the way the pictures turn out but video wise it's just to me is a better camera especially if you're using a third-party camera app like black magic camera yeah yeah uh, we'll see I, i'm i'm anxious to see what all they're coming out with for sure but yeah the first thing i wanted to mention is kind of a public service announcement so to speak <laughs> <laughs> i was reading that um samsung starting public service UI... announcement <laughs> like and subscribe order some merch <laughs> yes <laughs> that's a good public service announcement but um, Samsung, starting with <laughs> UI 6.1.1, their incremental update, are implementing maximum restriction in Android on their Samsung devices, meaning there's no more sideloading apps to your phone. 
If it's not in the Google Play Store and if it's not in the Samsung Store, you cannot install it. And Google is going to be following suit very promptly there after i would imagine because you know see now i i heard that google was doing a little bit different i mean that may be true and i hope it's not <laughs> but what i heard was that google was going to make uh the app bundles fully mandatory so uh you know how google is they'll give you like eight months a year or whatever uh and then basically eventually every operating system beyond a certain point uh will have to use app bundles uh, any new apps going into the Play Store from a certain date would have to be app bundles. No more. And most of them are now. Uh, even if you go to uh, APK Mirror, most of them are app bundles. That's the scuttlebutt I have gotten so far from it. Um, but I did, I did catch wind of the Samsung thing. So uh, these guys are really they're they're holding hands a lot together lately. So. I'm thinking if one's doing it, the other one's following. So I think you might be right. It's unfortunate. Well, you know, they just went through a mass app deletion in the Play Store because there was such yeah. a rash of people complaining about malware apps. Which well, they, it, that's because they're there. It's always been, well, yeah, because, you know, Google doesn't have the stringent, you know, vetting of apps like Apple does. And, right. you know, as much as we c complain about Apple's, you know, ecosystem and their walled garden, there's obviously yeah. some benefits to that. But well, yeah, it's it's safer. Tweaking no your problem. device is different than a side looting an app. So you could yeah. have one and not the other, which is what I think obviously is Android's headed that way. I think honestly, myself personally, I think it's a good idea. Um, I don't know why you would necessarily need to sideload. I haven't, there, I have not sideloaded that. Wait a minute. I have not sideloaded an app on a phone in probably 10 years. I have not I can, needed to. You know what? I can probably look at my phone right now and actually find you at least one, if not two or three apps that I've sideloaded because they're not available on the play store and from reputable companies. Um, well, maybe not. I may have actually gotten rid of them because I wasn't using them. So that's a bad example. <laughs> uh, but I know I have in the past. And I was looking at something the other day, and I couldn't use it because it was a paid uh, uh, subscription model. The app itself didn't cost money, but it was attached to another subscription service that I would have liked to have tried, but is a, a bit beyond me. Reputable company uh very very good product uh excellent service everything but they didn't want to be paying google so they just said you're gonna have to get your app from us if google blocks this it forces them to have to have to go in there but at some point you're going to start seeing these weird negotiations where um you know company a that is you know got way more money is not gonna have you know belt you know get charged as much as company b right but then again some companies don't charge for the app i think where most companies complain isn't the amount of money that google wants for the charging of the app but when the subscription models come into play and they're like well this is how much money you have to give us but here's the thing google does not disallow you like apple from at least i don't think they do unless they change that from actually charging separately from the app in other words you get the app for five dollars or free or whatever and then you sign up for the service and you pay separately not yeah. technically through the app yeah i don't know if they do that or not but yeah. i you know i i understand that aspect of it but here's here's my point about these reputable companies and they might be have their own app. They want you to sideload it. Yeah. Basically that tells me that they're maybe not up to par on their security as well. So what's to stop Mr. Bad actor over here, taking <laughs> reputable companies app, injecting their own, you know, infusion of malware and redistributing right. that and people downloading that. 
I mean, that happens. So I understand what their reasoning is behind it. And part of the problem is, which can be a little scary, is that some of these malware apps are coming out. They're stealing two-factor codes. That's, that's not good. <laughs> no, it's not yeah. good. I mean, yeah, so not, now you're completely, you know, nullifying the whole two level security when it comes to text messages. Now, personally, I use an app. Yeah. I don't use, you know, text unless I have to, but yeah. I'm sure there's a way to steal that too. I, I don't know, but I don't ever worry about it because I don't install anything outside of the Play Store. If it's not on the Play Store, I, there's then I don't need it because it's well, not you something see, I need to use. The thing is, is if pass keys are available, I'm all on board. Where they're not available, uh, <laughs> some well, some sites are now trying to do a thing that sort of looks like it's a pass key, but it's really not. You yeah. just have to authenticate with your phone, which is similar, but it's not actually a pass key. You still have to have the proper password and everything. But one of the things that I like about the way Google has changed their thing is without actually using pass keys, I think this is because they're able to do this because they fully implemented the passkey thing on their end is if you sign up for something and you go, okay, I got to do a, a, a password. It gives you a suggestion of some random password that there's no way in hell you're ever going to remember, but you don't have to. Mm -hmm. And you say, yeah, use it. And then it's, it, it's remembered it, uh, but you still need to use your fingerprint to authenticate it. So right. it's, it, to me, that is a little bit more secure, but it's not secure, secure in the sense of um, actually having, uh, what did you call it again? Um, you know, when you got to the USB and you plug it in. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, the hardware. Key. The hardware yeah. key. Yeah, exactly. That would be the, the absolute, absolute yeah. best thing to have under any circumstances. And and the thing is, is and that's, if I'm not mistaken, you can do it with a phone, laptop, computer, or whatever you want. Is, is that right? Yeah. So that, yeah. no. Yeah. So I have, I was going to look for my keys, but they're downstairs. It's a uh, USB C. So right. any phone computer that's manufactured in the last five years, you're going to be able to use, you know, and you plug it in, it turns it on and you fingerprint, you know, on top of it. And, it authenticates you. That is pretty cool. Yeah. And it's that's, fast. It, yeah. Yeah. And that's that's something I think that should be seriously considered for a lot of things. Well, oh, I got the fingerprint on the phone. But what if you were using this so that anything that you wanted to do beyond opening your phone could still be dead? Like if you have a business account on your phone and a personal account. Your personal account, you're like thinking, well, I don't really care. I got my fingerprint. It's fine. But I got sensitive documents on my phone. Uh, if, if this gets out, I'm fired, maybe there's legal trouble or something, right? So being able to actually lock it all with that key goes past, oh, somebody managed to get into your phone with your face or your thumb, but they don't have the key. Yeah. I, I don't know how that works between, have you ever seen an Android phone that's got two different separate profiles? Yeah, you can do that on you can't no, do that no. on a Samsung? Yeah. I'm saying, have you seen one, how it's got a work profile from a Google oh. workspace and an, a Gmail profile that's personal on the same device? Have you seen well, it how doesn't it, necessarily it, have to be a, uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be a, 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 a um, uh, what's the matter with me? You just said it. <laughs> workspace. <laughs> workspace. Uh, so, I mean, for a work account. Yes, it does. Well, not if they don't use those documents. They could just be using Microsoft stuff or something that has nothing to do with with Office uh, stuff at all. Um, there, there are tons of different applications that are being used that have nothing to do with Google. Or well, Microsoft no, but when you said a work whatever. account, I assume you meant workspace. Not necessarily. Account. Not necessarily. Because it, not necessarily. it actually partitions your phone. I know absolutely, but it so. doesn't necessarily mean you have to use the second one as a workspace account. You can have two fully working accounts that are not workspace accounts i know that i have yeah. four and and account. again if if the if the company isn't using that they don't need it to be google workspace they just need it to be a separate account and they just happen to title it as something to do with their job the work right bill's the problem work. is you can't yeah. control security on that as a business so that's part of the issue so oh okay it, it, well that's 
I have no idea why battery savers on my laptop was supposed to be plugged in and apparently it's not excuse me <laughs> yeah yeah because if it's not a workspace account where it actually creates that working profile that has separate work apps and then you have separate personal apps then the company can't control the security permissions on the company resources documents email whatever the case may be if they Talk do amongst yourselves i can actually with a workspace account let's say you lose your phone i can actually wipe the company side of the phone because it's a completely separate partition excellent so it has a lot of benefits and but a lot of people don't want to do that because they're like i even have people now and it's to me it's silly I don't want to use my phone for text messages for work. I'm like, okay, well, do you use it for your bank? Well, yeah, but that's my bank. I'm like, okay, well, this is your email for your company. The company can't access your phone. You're just using a text message. I don't understand people's, you know, issue with that, honestly. But that's not the right charger. <laughs> I just plugged in the wrong charger. Okay. I don't no. know how this happened. Oh, is it charging? No, it's not charging because the charger is not there. Oh. Well, it, Lionel moved his uh, his little space around this weekend and did some cleaning and some rearranging and some remodeling. Uh, so there's no telling where cables and plugs are right now. It's not it either. <laughs> it's, they're probably uh, strung, um, who knows, behind the desk, behind the dresser, from the TV. Don't know where that one came from. Who knows? <laughs> well, let's 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 hope it's this one here that I just found on the floor <laughs> under my feet. And we're yeah, we're you know what? Enjoy. <laughs> uh, we have a winner. Okay. Uh, let go. me just let me just double check and make sure uh, my mouse doesn't work either. There. Uh, there we go. Okay, so at any rate, I, I just want to bring that up about the two the, the side loading. I know a lot of people, especially in the Android space, that are tech guys. You know, they, to, they love to play with different apps and all, but um, there is reason for it. And I personally, as an Android user and as a technology professional, think it's a great idea uh, because sometimes people need protection from themselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And sometimes people need protection from being dumb enough to not plug in their laptop while they're actually <laughs> doing a podcast. Uh, yeah. So, and and I, you know, I think too, maybe that's going to help. You know, we talked about in one of the previous podcasts about those, you know, <laughs> free USB connections in the airports and stuff that you charge your phone with, how you can actually be plugging into a data hack. Um, yeah, right. I don't know. If, maybe it'll help prevent yeah. some of that. I, I don't know, but I think it's a good move. So at any rate, well, uh, I, 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 I kind of agree with you. To be honest with you, uh, I think more and more I find less. It's kind of like back in the day, uh, we used to all uh, mess with our phones, put on you know all the different uh, uh, rooting Roms, and roaming yeah. and everything, and still, it's still, it's still a thing. People still do that, and they still will be able to because it's Android, but. I, I think, it, to me, it's just less important. I, I like it when my TV doesn't go out, too. It, all right. Uh, I'll, you know what I'll do? I'll just unplug the uh, thing. And talk. This is great. It, it, what? I just plugged it back in. It should have worked. Now mine, mine, now mine gone off. There, there you there go. <laughs> All right. You know what? Let's talk about technology and how garbagey it is when it should be working. I have no idea what just happened there. But let's let's move on to another subject and and maybe that'll become the next short and people will laugh at me some more. <laughs> I'll have some water. Uh, ne ne next time you decide to rearrange your uh uh little podcast space there, uh, I think we'll we'll do some testing before. <laughs> Well, when you're working nine hours a day, yeah, it's it. kind of hard. You know? I got it. I got I, it. I gave it a go, and I, I was going to do it the day I was doing it. It actually took me two days to get everything done. done. 
That's okay. And, it looks good. And, and, and when, you know, with all these little bugs. It'll look better when I'm yeah. sitting a little higher here. I feel like I'm sitting in a kitty chair here right now. Uh, so, um, <laughs> the next thing I wanted to bring up is, you know, of course, I think this goes along with the whole, you know, August 13th thing coming up. Um, they yeah. recently have publicly announced that here's what they're releasing for. They're releasing a new Google Nest um, smart learning thermostat. Yeah. Um, and a new streamer, which we'll talk about the streamer in a minute. Yeah. But here's my here's my take on the thermostat. Uh, it's really awesome looking. I think it's <laughs> it I, I think great. It looks cool. I think it looks cool. But it's twice as big as the existing, so that's nice to have the extra real estate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, For some um, people, kind of like on the phone, it has some. Um, compilations you can do where you can add different things to show up on that you know how that right. far sight thing does when you walk by it it lights up and everything oh yeah that's basically what they started doing with the pixel 4 and people hated it and then they put it in the nest yeah and it <laughs> does have some it comes with solely so it has that, radar I mean, radar yeah yeah and, and so it's more you know accurate as far as detecting movement things like that, which is great. Mm -hmm. I have two Nest thermostats because my house is a split unit. And I'm not going to spend almost $300 replacing it just so I can get some Gemini and Soli. I, <laughs> no, honestly, of course not. Yeah, no. I, yeah, these are, you know, from, you know, 2020, I think, is when these came out or 2018, something like that. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I, I, this is the thing about technology. And I'm I'm an early adopter. You know I have always been early yeah. adopter as much as I can. But I guess the longer I deal with it, I guess the older I become wiser. <laughs> I, <don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> I just would have a hard time spending $300 almost for a replacement when all it's going to basically give me as far as how I use it, a bigger screen. Now, some of the Gemini AI stuff that's in it actually will help learn your, you know, thermostat routines and it'll yeah, yeah. automatically help program. But I don't even use that anyways because my wife likes to adjust it herself. She'll pull her phone out. She'll make whatever adjustments. And sometimes I'll wake up and it's you know sixty five degrees. You can still, you can still do that and you can still learn and 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 then you mess with it anyways. And it starts to figure out two things: one, the part where you don't want it to do it, you know, and and the other part where you do. But I should I should say two things: one, um, it's totally understandable why you don't want to spend the money, especially when you want, you have one that works perfectly fine. You don't need necessarily the bigger screen, whatever. Um, but you, you would, it's good enough. You would recommend it to somebody who was just getting their first learning thermostat. Or I mean, smart thermostat. Oh, well, I mean, without, you know, using it, I can't say like, oh, but I've used based it. Based on your experience with a Nest thermostat. 100%. 100%. Yeah. Now, the other thing it. I, I want to say is, in all honesty, and this kind of solidifies kind of what you're saying. I understand it about the why spend the money, you know, so on. If you already have, if I had bought the original Nest thermostat, the original one from however many years ago that is, which in my opinion was a really awesome looking thermostat in the first place, uh, I probably would not have even changed it yet. Right. Uh, and that goes way back before 2020. And I probably still wouldn't because, I, again, if it was turning the heat on when I needed it, turning the air conditioning on when I needed it, turning either of those off when I didn't need them, I wouldn't need anything else. Right. Uh, it would still do what I want to do. I'd still be able to operate it from my phone, from outside the house. Everything's mm -hmm. fine. So why bother? But, yeah. again, if you're just getting one, like I don't have one, but, again, because I live in a house, it's not my house. I'd be happy to actually you know, gift it to him, you know, so that he would have that. And even I'd be able to control it. If he's, if he's away and I have to work, I could say, okay, I'll make sure the air conditioner comes on later in the day, not while no one's home, you know, whatever. But um, the problem is, is he has a true variable speed. Uh, I was going to say transmission. 
<laughs> a true variable, variable speed fan uh, on his furnace, which means there is no stepping. Uh, it's just literally variable speed. So uh, think of it like a CVT of, of fans. <laughs> right. um, uh, so the problem is, is that no, and I mean absolutely none whatsoever, uh, smart thermostat uh, has ever been made to work with a true variable speed. They've only been made to work with single speed, uh, dual speed, and tri, tri speed, I think. If I'm not mistaken. A couple of them do. They do yeah. not work with variable speed and it's 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 mind-boggling that they won't put that tiny little feature in it would cost them an extra 15 cents to make it yeah it, I, it I don't know i mean sense. i'm sure it has something to do with resistance and how it's going to happen well, of to course like, it does but it's not not difficult. step the resistance it's to have to actually well, yeah, but step resistance is literally so. just putting a specific type of resistor and then just the switch to go to the resistor and that's it with yeah, true know. variable, you actually have to have an actuator. And so it's it's more than just a switch. Right. But it doesn't cost much more money. I mean, it's a few cents. It's pennies to a manufacturer. Uh, so it's not an issue with that. It's not really even more complicated because they make them not smart. Uh, like thermos, the same makers that make smart thermostats, like uh, 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 Honeywell makes uh, a few yeah. that, that work, but they're not smart thermostats. And it's yeah. just mind boggling that they force you to have to get up and do it manually and not be able to change it from outside the house. If they put smarts in that thing at all, no whatsoever. Yeah, no, I, I don't, I've never ran, I've never had a true variable. I've, I mean, it's always been a, you know, yeah. you know, low, medium, high. Is that a pretty common Canadian thing? Or is no, it... it's, it's the, the, the actual furnace itself definitely costs more money. Um, because they're talking about the technology within it. The fan has to be able to do it. The electrical has to be able to handle it because you're talking about a completely different load changing, right. varying up and down on this huge difference in curve, right? So yeah. if you know anything about how all that works, if you're talking about the people listening, I know you understand it. Um, that, that, makes, that makes a big difference in, 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 in entire across the whole thing with the frequency. Uh, and how it works but the problem is 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 that no one will make the thermostat that talks to it it needs a different wire that's it it's it's one other wire that they don't put on it <laughs> and it yeah. would otherwise work because it would just tell it we need it to be this and the the thing about the true variable speed is and you know because you said you've had like two speed or tri speed right uh, yes. if you, if it's, um, say 85 degrees outside and your house has reached 85 and you want your house to be what, I don't know, 68, 71. I can't think what, what kind of temperature do you'd like in your house? Oh, personally it's 68. Sometimes 68 okay. at night. Yeah. Well, no, you're just talking about daytime, right? So yeah, you, let's say you're in and out of the house. You're going to be gone to the store for half an hour. This and, room right you know, now is 68 degrees. Yeah. You're working in the backyard. You're going to be in and out, but you're not in the house the whole time. So you know, the doors are going to open and close a few times. Mm -hmm. So you set it around 68 degrees, right? But it's, it's 85. So it would go full bore until it gets to about, 71 or so and then go to the the second switch or if you have a third the third switch by the time it hits like uh 70 or something right and then it would slow right down till it hit 68 and turn itself off but with a variable speed it'll still go full bore if it's 85 degrees in the house and you want it to be 68 but it slows down incrementally which reduces the hell out of the cost because it slows sooner and there's sh short periods where it's taking more energy because it has to get back down where the other one would have jumped already but once it gets past that threshold it's then taking less and less energy again until it hits the next threshold and then beyond that it can some of them not all of them more expensive furnaces can slow down to a pretty serious degree below what your normal slow one would be on your dual step or tri-step, um, which allows you to have a very small airflow and a much less, you know, and or they'll turn the air conditioner off and just put the fan on. 
um, if you set it that way, but you can still set it like that. And, and the thermostat will be like, well, it's, this is the temperature. You may not be trying to air condition, but we'll run the fan at a slower speed. Um, so yeah, I mean, it makes sense, yeah. you know, but yeah. Yeah. But nonetheless, they are more expensive. And quite frankly, most people would just rather have the, the dual speed and, and go with that. And all, I think all learning thermostats work at least with dual speed. Uh, sorry, yeah. with smart thermostats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. pretty sure. At least anything built is. in the last four or five years anyways. So. Now, here's another weird thing, though, about it. Um, is it supports matter, but it only supports matter over Wi-Fi. They did not put a thread border router in the thermostat. There's no okay. thread in it. Why does that matter? <laughs> well, that, that was a joke, but oh. but yeah, it should matter because why would you have matter without thread? Um, with yeah. Wi-Fi, it's useless if your Wi-Fi is out unless it's using its own Wi-Fi thing, which means nothing else is going to talk to it. And I don't know. That, I, I, I'm trying to wrap my head around how that's working. I don't understand. I'm, I'm, well, yeah, even though I'm rolling read, back here and my voice is going off, I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, even the article I read was like, yeah, we don't understand why they did that. I mean, even the the current thermostat that I have supports matter on thread. Yeah. Why would they eliminate something that the current one has and that, for example, the, you know, their hubs, other devices that they manufacture support the thread network, which, like you said, can yeah. be all internal, you know, and 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 there's there's another there's another thing yeah. about that too, is uh, what if you've got several devices in your home uh, that you want to control this non-thread device with, uh, and they can only do it through Wi-Fi, but they're all using battery. I, Aren't you using less battery if you don't need to use the Wi-Fi to do? I mean, I know we're not talking about large amounts. Oh, one hundred percent. Anything that you add, time. yeah, anything you add to your battery consumption uh, when it's not necessary is bad. Then why do you think they invented Bluetooth uh, low energy? You know, right. I mean, uh, it, that that's like basically saying every new device uh, is capable of Bluetooth low energy, but we're not going to implement it. You know. That, oh, but it, so, but here's another weird thing, though, and we'll yeah. talk about this here in a minute. Is that the new streaming device they come out with? The which is a the the, the new streaming device? Oh, streaming device. With? I think it's a stringy device. I'm like, <laughs> it's a thread border router. <laughs> oh God, is it? Yes. So why would you eliminate it from your brand new thermostat? I, I again, it's Google sometimes. It makes no sense. Do you realize? Yeah. It, I mean, how much how a little sense that makes you you get your new streamer you got it going on your tv if it's a lot thread and you got your nest new nest learning thermostat with matter if it had thread it would be so easy to just actually look at it on your freaking tv you wouldn't yeah, even have to pick up your phone you just be able to use your stinking remote or your voice with the tv yeah. It, it, it makes no sense. By the way, you know what? If we're going to talk about some of Google's stuff, Google's old. I don't want to insult it when it's right there, but the old home, the original air freshener design, is yeah. really long in the tooth. It oh, hardly man. hears me properly anymore. I, I want the new one, which, by the way, is already old, so I might wait for a new refresh now. I'm like, I'm, I, I can't live without the damn thing. But I can't now. Don't, shh, it's so bad. Well, that's why I most I use is the little the small. Screens. Yeah, I I I gonna you know I see the one thing is I don't because I have to use eyeglasses all the time. That's the one reason why, and also because I know the small one isn't gonna give me the sound quality of the old Google Home. That's Great. very bassy. Great. It's not great sound, but it, it's nice and thick, and it's good for your bedside. But I would like the larger one and actually be able to see the screen sometimes without my glasses on. Yeah. Um, but in Canada, I would have to sell my arms and blood. <laughs> well, no for well I, I have one of those air fresher designs like you're talking about downstairs in the office. Yeah. Um, and I want to smash it all the time. <laughs> 
because I'll 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 say something and I'll be I'll literally be like they're here. Okay. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait. And and I <laughs> and I'll stand there oh, and I'll shoot. be looking at it. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I'll be looking at it and I'm waiting. And I'm waiting. Oh, oh can this reach? And oh, I'm waiting. It's not going to reach. Oh, yes, it is going to reach. All right, here yeah. we go. That's 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 her baby right there. That's what we're talking yeah. about. Let's see. Oh, yeah. wait a minute. Let's see right there. Yeah, uh, it it it's I I have to wait and and it doesn't respond and sometimes it doesn't respond at all and I'm just like, yeah, and so then I say it a little louder and then all of a sudden my Max Hub in the kitchen picks up and I'm like I don't want to talk to you, I want to talk. To I this. know, right? <laughs> I uh, it's, it's so that's insane. I had to turn uh, yeah. it off on my phone because I couldn't stand it anymore. But here's the thing: once the Gemini thing really kicks in like finally kicks in we're gonna finally be able to get and this is not gonna happen even next year i think we're talking about a couple of years from now still but once it's fully baked in and and fully ready uh and and assistant is no longer with us by the way this won't get updated this is going to be deprecated yeah it'll be right? it'll be a this is done stop. this yeah absolutely 100 percent a door stop mine's hey, almost google made that. uh are you going to be replaced by gemini Sorry, I didn't understand. I asked you if you're going to be replaced by Gemini. Okay. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, uh, I don't. You, give me a question to ask this thing that's more legit. Um. Now that. <laughs> We'll just ask it what the weather's going to be tomorrow. Let's ask it oh, something that's, super that, that's simple. Too, that's too easy. It will get I mean, that. Mine doesn't even do that. Mine. Will, oh, are you serious? Hey, well, Google. No, it'll do it. What's but the weather like, like tomorrow? Forever. Tomorrow in Scarborough, there will be isolated thunderstorms with a high of 23 and a low of 22. Thank you. I'm honored to serve. Yeah, it sounds hey. ridiculously robotic. I can't believe how much I liked that originally. But for all you Americans, compared to the way Gemini Celsius, sounds, it's not Fahrenheit. It's Celsius. Well, yeah. <laughs> for all you U.S. guys out there, sorry. Yeah, compared to Gemini, I know. Yeah, compared to Gemini, the, the, this sounds incredibly robotic, like really robotic. Um, and I, I didn't think so until Gemini. And I was like, wait a minute, Gemini is way more conversational, and it still sounds like garbage. I'm sorry, Gemini, but it sounds like garbage compared to Chat GPT. Um, but Gemini will improve. They will make it better. It, uh, they have to. They have to keep up because people are just going to go. Let me have my chat. Chat. I can't even speak. Chat GPT. Uh, if if Google ends up not being a conversationalist, right now you can't ask it anything political. Uh, because it's it would be improper, because if people would think, oh well, you know, he's taking sides or something. So you can't ask it a question about Trudeau or Trump or biden or yeah. harris or anything you know silly silly yeah, i know it is ridiculous right um because it's ai what like what are people going to freak out because it actually told you some factual evidence like if you asked it uh is is trump guilty of anything um this will actually probably give you a cited news story and give you the answer. Whereas if I ask Gemini on my phone, it will say, I am an AI, or what's it? No, what has it say? A, a, a large learning model. I am not capable of, oh, shut up. You are capable. They just, Google just decided to to put the stifle on that. But if you well, ask here's chat a, GPT, you're going to get the full blown answer and a conversation about well, it. Here's another phone. dumb thing is that you can't ask Gemini to turn your lights on. Wait a minute. What? It does not support the make and bedroom lights 100%. Make bedroom lights 70%. Got it. Setting five lights brightness to 70%. Mm, okay, well, maybe the light thing is a bad ch uh, 
choice, but there was there are some features that it even tells you in the app. Like it even yeah. says, "Oh, if you want to do this, you should use Assistant. But if you want to do this, you should use Gemini because Gemini can't do this." Yeah, but it doesn't do that anymore. I don't think. I don't think it says that anymore. Uh, does it? I think they changed the wording on it a little bit because now they have a different thing that they do that Gemini taps into differently. And uh, they got, they don't, I, think, I don't remember, they don't call them routines, I don't think. I think it's something else. Um, but they work more like Am, like the Amazon uh, Alexa's recipes, kind of. So that's what it is. That's what it is, the routines. It's still, because like, okay. I'm looking yeah. at it right here, okay? It says, oh, if you want to be able to do um, assistant routines and translate conversation real time, use assistant if you want to write emails and make learning easy, use Gemini. Well, dude, I have, I don't know, a ton of routines. Like when I go to bed, I say, well, you know, yeah, that's going to suck for that. And it says, oh, I'm sorry. I can't do that. I'm like, what? So I had to turn it off and go back to assistant. I, I can't. Yeah, use but, but now, wait a minute. Does it, does it, Dumb. does it, did you say it actually says it to use real time translation? Mm hmm. Well, it, Jim, the Assistant Dipper did real-time translation. It passed it off to uh, translate. It never I'm just, did. I'm just telling that's, you. That's garbage. So I, now I'm curious, though. They, they, there's, there's no reason they shouldn't have come out with Gemini with the same functionality as the Assistant to where they could well, completely yeah. eliminate it and be done with it. I don't understand why yeah, they no, can't I, use I a agree. routine. Yeah. But now, now I'm curious. Oh, whoops. Hi, I want to say something in German. Are you able to understand me if I were to say the next sentence after this in German? Once you respond, I will. Oh, I can't hear that. Is, is this kalt? Unfortunately, I need more context to understand what you were trying to ask. It didn't understand me. I just said, is it cold? Uh, yeah. It didn't hear Anyways. me, though. It didn't hear me. So it, it, that's the half-baked thing that I'm saying about Gemini. It, yeah. It's, 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 there's a lot of things. Like, it's a large language model. It can do more of this and that. If you give it a video, give it a piece of music, give it a picture, give it a giant body of text, it will analyze this more of it faster than uh chat gpt now i'm talking about you know the uh what is mm -hmm. it 1.5 um but trying to have a conversation with it i get it to do stuff for you if chat gpt could be implemented baked into your phone it would do way more out of the box yeah. i played around with it a little bit today when i was doing some um yeah creation you know and doing um video title description stuff and whatnot and i had it write me out this whole like hey write me a description for a youtube channel based on blah 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 and it it actually gave a much better answer than jim and i did um yeah, but, it used to be the other way around yeah. but now chat gpt just does a better job especially yeah. if you talk to it as opposed to typing yeah my only thing is because of my subscription model with google I get the advanced Gemini and yeah, I would have yeah. to pay for chat GPT. So I yes. can still use the free, yeah. you know, I still have the free yeah. capability, but you know, but uh, here's the know. thing. Their free K, their free one is way better than Gemini's free one. Oh, hundred percent. Right. If you were to talk about the paid version of both Gemini's is better in the things that I said that I mentioned, which is the kind of stuff you're using it for anyways. Uh, but again, having having a conversation with it and getting it to do stuff that you need to do around your house, it's no go. It's yeah. not ready. Not even remotely close to ready. Yeah, and that's because they just concentrated shocking. so much on it being a large learning model. They forgot to actually put the assistant part into it. Yeah, <laughs> yes, it's shocking actually. Yeah, now, I just hope they don't suddenly turn around and go, "Okay, well, we killed assistant. You're now Gemini." And then a year later, we're going to see the news on Android Police. Uh, Google <laughs> Google is shuttering Gemini. Uh, we yeah. will be using Bixby, and Samsung's going to go <laughs> like, "What? We killed it already. What are you doing?" <laughs> 
Oh, oh man, that's another. Apple that's a garbage. That, sorry, Samsung. That's a garbage app. That does not work. Well it, it, no, it was. Yeah, no, it is garbage. You know, so people say, "Oh, yeah," but you know, back in the day when no one else was able to do this, you could operate virtually everything on your phone. Yeah, you could, but you couldn't get anything to work properly or timely. I tried yeah. Bixby, and you you would basically tell it, okay, hey Bixby or whatever you called it, right? Uh, play this song and turn or open this app and play this song or whatever, and it would go uh, one of two things: either I can't find the app, or you don't have the app installed, or it would find the app, but it would take about thirty seconds to open the bloody app, and then when it yeah. did. It took so long that it actually lost in memory what the other request was attached to it. It only did one request at a time, technically. Right. But it, it could still forget if it took too long. And that's the problem with Bixby. And I don't know if they ever fixed it. They probably did in the last year or two. You where know, they, I... where, where it had a problem where it would actually, if it took too long to do anything, it would lose the memory. Like I had a yeah. giant memory leak. That's the strangest thing I've ever seen in an Android app. Maybe one day right. I'll play around with it on my phone, but I, I stopped. Oh, using is it, it a long still there? Ago. I thought they got. I thought oh, they deprecated it. No, hundred percent, it's still there. Oh, so I Matter think. It's fact, my, I think the S twenty five is where they deprecate it, probably. Maybe my TV just up. I mean, excuse me, my refrigerator just updated, and it updated to the current version of Bixby. <laughs> But again, I don't I don't use it. I, I swear know. to you, when I was a child, I never thought I would ever hear anybody say my refrigerator <laughs> updated. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I then again, I never gave that much thought. I was too yeah, busy it's... watching Star Trek and Scooby Doo. I, I but... love my smart refrigerator, man. It is um, it's awesome. I love it. I, I like my it. smart watch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, the last thing Your on my refrigerator agenda, is probably way smarter than my watch, though. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's like <laughs> one thing I can look at my yeah, yeah I can look at the inside because yeah. it has like cameras on the back side of the door. Oh my god! But right. I can't see what's really? in the door. One thing, but I'm like, I why would I need to look inside a refrigerator? I mean, I guess if you're at the store and you knew that like what you had on the shelf was visible, and you're like, hmm. Do I have one gallon or two gallons? I suppose <laughs> it, it could be helpful, but I don't. I yeah, I, I don't. Do you have I a don't. picture of your fridge available? <laughs> yeah, I'm pulling it up right now. I'm just refreshing. Actually, uh, I mean, that's the, crazy. It, it's it's kind of cool, you know. That's live oh my in my refrigerator. For every... <laughs> live in the refrigerator, Jesus. <laughs> All right, you know what? Uh, here, listen. I'll show you. I'll show you my. Oh wait, wait, wait. Here we go. I, I maximize it, so now you can see the bottom of the the the. You know, you can see everything in there, right? So yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can I can see all of that. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, it it does it doesn't make any sense to me. I, I've never used it except playing around with it. I probably should have my glasses on when I'm trying to type something. Uh, okay, no, wow, it won't let me type this. Okay, but here's a really cool thing. You see, it, it does allow me to adjust the temperatures and control like my flex zone. Yeah, no, and see, it's insane. Very cool. Um, I, I do like that. Okay, I gotta. Oh, wow, I can't find anything. Okay, um, all right, I, I will now show you. Yeah, see, let me get into this. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna show you a picture of 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 my smart fridge right 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 where's okay there we go there's, there's my smart fridge right there. <laughs> oh there's somebody in it right now somebody's trying to, trying to grab something <laughs> oh oh yeah, so at any rate well the last thing on my agenda is to talk about that streaming device and uh it's all right you yeah. know if anybody has got here i'm going to share this picture because this is going to this is going to okay. skip volumes um so this is the new um streamer yeah can and, you pinch into that remote uh i don't think i can zoom in on that particular because of how i got it shared Oh, by the way, I found my original browser. 4K Chromecast <laughs> in a drawer. But the remote is the similar. Black Huck. Yeah, the remote is similar to what they have now. Very, very similar. But I, I heard there was a button or two extra. I, I, I can't remember. I can't remember what I read. 
Yeah, it. Matter of fact, I've got one in the other room. I should, maybe I can go run and get it. I don't know, but um. Well, you got one of the old ones. One of the dongle ones. Well, yeah. So do so do I. So I know I know what it looks like. I, yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I want to see, I wanna see what this new one looks like. But you said you can't right. you can't zoom into that. No, not the, not the way I have it shared. It's oh okay. It doesn't let me zoom in on the web page. Um, oh, that's too bad. Oh, maybe I can do it this way. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there we go. I can do it that way. If I zoom in anymore, it's going to cut the bottom of it. Yeah, off. I'm trying to. I'm trying to spot what's different. Uh, I, I don't have the other one with. Uh, uh, it still has Netflix and what is my that? remote YouTube? stopped working, and I was going to order another one, and I, th and I thought, you know what? Why bother? It was. It's bugging me, but again, it's because it doesn't have a USB audio out. And I, my TV's all being watched with the headphone, you know? Right. But if and everybody looks me. on that tray in the back, you can see, like, the original and, um, you know, all the new ones, that the little yeah. cigarette the hockey, lighter the looking Beautiful one. hockey puck design and even the audio one that just looks like a record player <laughs> or a record, yeah. pardon me. Yeah. And I see, is um, that, are those Nest learning thermostats in the background? Off to the Over to the right, right, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep, those are the uh, third gen, yep. Um, so yeah, it looks great. I really like it. It's actually, um, now supports HDMI 2.1 a, which is it's great because that's yeah. full, full it's bandwidth. Good. You can do 8k yeah. if you need to, or if it supports yeah. it, I guess, uh, it finally supports gigabit ethernet, which for anybody uh, watching <laughs> all those other devices, they did sell an adapter, but it was a 10, 100 adapter, which is yeah. absolutely ridiculous. And of course I would put a, a, a better one in. I didn't use that stupid thing. Um, yeah. and did it make a difference? Yeah. It, and I'll tell you why, because it, it, it if you had any issue, nothing had to be on your end. It could be anywhere along the pipe. You have an issue. Uh, with bandwidth, if you have more available, then you still have more when it slows down most of the time. Right. Um, I know that sounds weird, but it's true. If I've only got, you know, 100 megabits per second maximum, I'm probably lucky to get 70 at any point in time. I only need 25 to get 4K uh, right. through that dongle. But it slows down and I'm getting five. I'm not going to get even 1080p at this point. Yeah. Um, but if I've got gigabit internet, gigabit ethernet, and, and I only need 25, when it slows down, I'm still getting 120 or 45. I'm still way above the threshold it needs. Yeah. And it's got the Bluetooth 5.1 and it supports uh, Wi Fi 5. Um, so everything's more advanced. It's got more memory. It's got a processor. Why would it be supposedly low like energy, though. I, that's weird. Wouldn't you know? Uh, it might be. I didn't look at the specs. I just saw that it was five point one, which Wait, 5. 5. 1 1. can you can have low energy at five point one. I thought you had to have five point two. At, for, uh, am I wrong? I thought it could be. No, I'm not sure. I I may um, be wrong. I may be wrong. You know, when looking it up right now, I'll go with. It. That you find, but in the meantime, um, while you're looking that up, I'll just bring something else up and just interrupt me when you find it. So, um, yeah, it does have low, you can do low energy at five. Oh, okay, so okay, yeah, but it, it's a nice device, and all the advances I would seriously consider buying one of these, uh, and getting rid of even the um. Nvidia Shield that I have because sometimes the Nvidia Shield makes me want to smash it as well because it. I the, the only thing I have a problem with it, like I said, is the lack of the um, uh, USB audio out. So I would uh, still need to figure out how would I get audio into this without it being Bluetooth because when you do Bluetooth through there, well, mind you, if they have the blue proper Bluetooth going to this then maybe that delay goes away because that's the only reason why i don't watch the other one ever because it i and it sounds not rich enough it would probably be better on that but here's the thing i want to know why and, and people say well there's all kinds of reasons because bluetooth doesn't work that way if you have bluetooth 5.2 or 5.3 it might need uh you can get 360 audio as far as i know right 
and nice rich bass and the whole bit. I I, I don't know. I believe I so. I, I believe so. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, of course you can because that's that's why pixel buds work that way. Mm, right? Right, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So obviously you can. So why give us crappy Bluetooth if you if you're not going to give us the means <laughs> to listen on our headphones? Yeah. Uh, wired or I mean uh, through through USB audio out. Then then just give me why why am I getting McAfee? Yeah. I didn't type that. I I went to a website to look at an article so I could bring it up. And I yeah it I get it might support the USB audio. I have no idea. It doesn't say in the specifications and all. Yeah, there's no way. So. Nvidia Shield's still the only one that does that. Okay, uh, let me uh, get to this real quick here because I think we are getting close. Yeah, we're getting close. Uh, exclusive Pixel Line buyers get Google One two terabyte. Oh my God! There it is again with the McAfee thing. I didn't even get to finish. Uh, Fitbit Premium, YouTube Premium included. Um. So, oh, wow, that's crazy. So, that's going to give you the Gemini Advanced. Yeah. Um, I believe they're talking about probably the, the for two years, right? Um, does it say how long? It doesn't. Or maybe it does, and I'm just skimming it really quick. But I remember reading about here's it. Here's the thing. This is what I want to know. Are they going to shaft existing customers? Because apparently they're not going to be giving away any Pixel Buds or watches this year. They're going to give you this free subscription model instead. Um, so are, does that mean that existing payers, like most companies seem to do, are going to get the shaft and we're not going to get nothing? New buyers are the only ones that are going to get anything. Yeah, if that's the case, they're going to be really sorry because there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be like, well, if you're not going to give me anything at all and you're giving this guy everything for free, I'm not going to buy. But you'd be surprised how many people do that. Thousands of people will say, screw you. Yeah, but I don't know why they would. Yeah. I mean, I, I, oh, because I'm, people I'm don't... taking it as that if you, buy a, if you buy a nine, you get this. Doesn't. Well, absolutely. I, I completely thing, agree so. with you. I'm getting it whether I get something free with it or not. <laughs> you know, but I just I'm telling you because if you look on the on the forums and, and Facebook and stuff, that's the first thing you're gonna see. As soon as they find out the information, that's the first thing they're gonna say was, Well, I'm I'm I I've I bought every pixel the last seven years. How come I don't get anything? Right? Only only for new. <laughs> if they do that only for new, they are making a huge mistake. They're very bad at marketing, as we already know. But if you're gonna alienate your existing loyal fan base customers who have spent thousands and thousands of dollars in some cases like me year after year and you uh, until last year <laughs> uh it's 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 uh it's ridiculous you know they need to say okay you know what give me the cheap pixel buds i don't care i for me it doesn't <laughs> matter but all you got to do is say yeah we're gonna let you if you're an existing customer we'll give you a year for free uh, or if yeah. you're an existing company, we'll give you six months for free, or even three months for free. Uh, give the newer guys a, a whole year. I don't care. But you have to offer something. If you're going to offer something for some, you got to offer it for everybody, or give an alternative to those that don't qualify for that. Well, it's, I guess it, we will find out on the 13th what they decide to do. Hopefully, as long as I'm not digging somewhere under somebody's porch, uh, <laughs> trying to waterproof their home. Uh, and if I am, then I'll have to find out about it later. Please don't text me all the information. I would like to be surprised at something. I'm not going to be surprised. Text me the information. <laughs> I changed my mind. All right. Uh, what time yeah. is it? Uh, yeah, we're 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 pretty much coming up on time now. Yeah. Uh, so. so, I've uh, I've uh, I've had we had a nice little conversation. It's all tech related. Um, we're going to do a lot more talking about some Canada versus the United States type stuff or Canada and the United States type, type stuff uh, coming up in the next you know few episodes, whatever, just to get a little bit more of that uh, thing that we got in the theme. It's United We Stand Divided We Podcast, so that's what we want to talk about. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but we are going to do a, wise, uh... There is still going to be some very heavy Google talk next week oh, it's always yeah 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 now um just so you guys know i am heading on vacation next week 
We're going to try to get a podcast done prior to me leaving. But if not, we might have a week that we won't be having a podcast. I will be publishing some shorts that'll be coming out. Um, but yeah, we'll just have to see if we have also, time. Also, if that does happen, it's it's more likely that I will put out uh, technically what's called a long form, not short form video, but it'll be shorter. Uh, it's not going to be an yeah. hour and it'll be less of a podcast and more of a talking heads type type video where it'll still be stuff that we talk about. And it'll probably be based a lot on stuff that Robert and I have already talked about uh, things that we want to talk about. He might mention yeah. something that he wants talked about stuff. I want to talk about and we'll just to, to keep some content there and hopefully well, no, if he's on vacation, this is not the vacation where he's going to send pictures. I was going to say maybe he'll send some pictures I could share, but I believe this I might, is I might, I, you know, yeah, I might. Yeah, I might. I can text well, this is the one where you're going with your wife. You don't want to be bothered by anybody podcasting. So that's understandable. Uh, we'll bother we'll bother Robert when he goes to Germany because I'm not at all jealous about that trip. <laughs> um, yes. With that said, I am Wendell, <clears throat> and I am in Toronto, Canada. And I am Robert, just outside Nashville, Tennessee. And we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.